Antennas are to LTE network performance what a good set of tyres is to a car. A powerful car with old worn out tyres won't be able to utilise its power effectively. If you have a great LTE network with powerful devices but a poor antenna, you'll have an unstable signal and will lack the traction you need to get up to those top speeds. But what makes an antenna good or bad? One metric people like to use to compare antennas is called antenna gain. Higher is often considered better, but that's not always the case, and that's down to what gain actually is. An antenna's gain is a measure of how much it focuses RF energy. A flashlight or torch makes for a great analogy. A lower gain antenna is like a flashlight with a wider beam. The light is less intense and can penetrate shadows less effectively because the energy is less focused. Narrowing the beam produces a thin shaft of light that penetrates shadows deeply, it doesn't cast much light out to the sides. It's exactly this effect, but applied to radio frequency signals that antenna gain measures. One small caveat, while the flashlight analogy works for directional antennas, which radiate energy in a particular direction, omnidirectional antennas are a bit different. They radiate energy in all directions through 360 degrees. Therefore, rather than a beam of light, the radiation pattern is more like a ring donut. Increasing the gain effectively flattens that donut pushing the dough further out, resulting in greater range in the horizontal plane, but less depth to the radiation pattern in the vertical plane. The main consequence of higher gain then is that you can reach objects further away, but positioning becomes more difficult. For a directional antenna, that's pretty self-explanatory, but less so for an omnidirectional antenna. The best illustration of the consequences of this is to imagine a ship on the sea. As it rolls from side to side, that high gain omnidirectional beam the flat donut we mentioned earlier, will wave over a cell mast on the shore if the gain is too high. The solution here would be a lower gain antenna and sailing closer to shore. When it comes to the numbers, antenna gain is measured in decibels. The numbers you will see are on a logarithmic scale, meaning for each additional 3 dB of gain, you'll get double the power. This means that a 12 dB antenna is four times more powerful than one that's 6 dB, not twice as powerful. You'll actually see antenna gain listed as a certain number of dBi rather than dB. The I stands for isotropic, which to massively oversimplify it, means this gain is a measure relative to a theoretical, ideal antenna that radiates energy perfectly in all directions. Unfortunately, in practice antennas cannot radiate energy perfectly, in their intended direction or directions. That's because the design of an antenna massively impacts its radiation pattern. An antenna with high gain, but with a bad radiation pattern, can still have a high peak gain, but that gain might drop significantly across its frequency bands, leading to poor performance for the user. If that's a bit confusing, Pointing, who manufactures some of the best antennas around, have a really great video explaining this, which we'll link to in the description and on the screen. Thanks very much for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos like this.